I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Golden elixir. Consume without excess. Richet, sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow, what's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur, I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why, what are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. Look, I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Derichet. Where have you been? Did Lord Mortimer tell you you could trust me? Yes, but... So, I'm working for him right now. And you're wasting my time with your questions. I... Look, if he hasn't taken you into his confidence, then you shouldn't know yet. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as I thought it would be. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now.
Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. What's... what's wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me. What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? So you're gonna tell me she's wrong, and that she's a liar? She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. You're the devil incarnate. The devil? I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, Something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. I am not hiding any horns or goat's feet, Louis. I have no tail. Why do you bring up folklore? You mean that you've taken advantage of people's beliefs? No, not exactly. I mean that we in fact created them from scratch. It is amazing to see how mankind has such a strong need to believe in something superior to itself. It was very instructive for what was to come. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class, it's ridiculous. We are not angels, we don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. If I follow you, you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. Did you know ancient Egypt? Oh, yes, yes. We were gods on Earth in those days. What did men call you then? Amenhotep IV. The, the tenth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty? Ooh, I see you're a connoisseur, Louis. Impressive. Did you know ancient Greece? In many ways, yes. One day Pericles, the next Parmenides. Just the memory of the time I spent working on acoustics with Pythagoras. Well, it, it moves me quite deeply, to tell the truth. Pericles. He's the one who brought Athens to its golden age, isn't he? Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. He established democracy, and then died during an epidemic. It wasn't so long after his two sons passed away. Isn't that right? Excuse me, Louis. I... I would rather not relive any more of that, if you don't mind. Did you experience ancient Rome? Oh, yes. Luxury and decadence, Louis. My family did indeed reign supreme, but from this period I retain only the works of my friend, Marcus Vitruvius Polio. 
You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You aren't him, are you? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was my father, though. Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? Am I dreaming? Ugh, please tell me I'm dreaming. We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but... Yes, yes, he was my father. All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. I've noticed that you have a passion for the Crusades. Among other things, yes. Mainly the Third. It was during the Siege of St. Joan of Arc that I took possession of Lord Mortimer. And you've never changed skins or bodies since? I have used other envelopes, but only to carry out very short tasks. Apart from that, indeed I have been able to retain the identity of William Alexander Mortimer throughout the centuries. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing. We are the spark that inspires man to search to grow, to evolve. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's... that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No. I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature the to her. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Al-Azif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. What are the demon's projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. How would you qualify your species scientifically? Hmm, good question. What is your area of expertise? I'd say physics. So, consider us like the mechanical vibration of fluids. You mean sound? That's right. The physical properties of acoustics are very similar to those of our abilities. Imagine us as something like waves. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, 
You'll soon see. After you. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences, and most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything, the interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, they summoned the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Borchert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, Sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? Mm, no, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. It was you who killed her. The child was already condemned, Louis. My father would never have let her be. I had to pass inside her mind and, yes, make her take her own life. Trapped between the unyielding control of my father and your mother's terrible treatments? I wouldn't wish a life like that on anyone, would you? So neither my mother nor Peru were ever guilty. You just gave me the runaround with that whole investigation. Now don't take it the wrong way. I was obliged to keep up appearances so that Gregory wouldn't suspect me. And... It enabled me to size you up, Louis. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean, am I a demon? Would you like that? No, I don't think so. I'm just a man and that's fine with me. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me, you are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural, charismatic presence comes from? Your 
talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body, without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I... What? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Liar! Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns! Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid! Ah, uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer! Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul! I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you! You're just like him! You don't know the whole story. You ought to let me help you. One more move and I'll shoot you down, you bastard. Jack, you'll end up hurting yourself if you continue like this. There's no one to save here anyway. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Wait, Jack! If it weren't for me, you, you'd be dead by now. You've seen who I am, and this so-called revelation makes no difference. I'm not a slave to my birth, and I refuse to pretend to be a victim. I am Louis de Richet. Do you really believe you've got enough strength to resist him? I am who I am. Only our actions truly define us. And you can threaten me all you want. It won't make any difference. Don't change, Louis. You're strong. I wasn't able to make it. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it, but it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. You're going to be held accountable, and you will lose everything, starting with your freedom, and then your head. I told you, I don't care. Not about yourself, maybe, but what about your daughter? It wouldn't be the same for her, would it? Shut up! Shut up! She will be alone, in a world that you know is hostile. What will become of her? I... That's true, but... Don't abandon her. Not a second time. It's your last chance, my friend. <laughs> it's over. Come now, Mr. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this lady. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. Shaken up? You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But. All in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. 
You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... What? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. But I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no, nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught, so I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy, and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. what Mortimer is thinking about. He is thinking he might not have been clear enough with you. When I told you not to try to read into Gregory or her experienced demons, it also applied to me, of course. You, you, you can hear me think? Of course I can. I can sense you. For the moment, your mind shines like a thousand lights because you haven't yet mastered the art of concealment from the psyches of others. So... I give you a weapon, and the first thing you do is try to shoot me with it? If my intentions were evil, you would already be at my mercy. So be very careful on whom you use the talent. All right. Please excuse me. And I... don't ever apologize, my son. You are far above that from now on. Now go. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, Ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf.
golden elixir. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Accident, I'm sorry. I didn't have a choice. She attacked me. I... I didn't want to hurt her. What happened? I was on the wharf. It was dark. She seemed to be preparing to depart. I moved closer. I wanted us to talk, but as soon as she saw me, she threatened me. I wanted her to explain to me in her own words what had happened to Emma. I had to know what happened, Louis. You understand that, don't you? Is it really for him that you left me, Emily? <laughs> That's pathetic. Look, he still doesn't get it for crying out loud. Emma? Oh, the bitch! Bitch! What? Louis, what's wrong with you? No, you are not Emily. Ah, that. It took you long enough to figure it out, though. I felt sorry for you when I saw you couldn't even recognize her, Louis. What do you expect? It wasn't my fault. Was it perhaps that night we spent together after the conference that persuaded you that I was worth more than her? I... what? Oh, you still don't get it. The night of the conference? It wasn't poor Emily who paid you a little visit in your room. Oh, she was much too busy with Monsieur Bonaparte. No, that's not true. It was me, of course. I assure you, you got something a whole lot better. And when I think, she wasn't even armed when I arrived. Right, take a moment to think and meet me at the manor later. You're crazy. Now, now, Louis, don't push it. I understand your grief, but I won't put up with that sort of talk from you or anybody. But I... You've lost your mind. That's enough. That's not how you talk to a lady. I'd like to be alone, madam. That's all right. I'd rather that too. See you later, Louis. 